Am I attacking the church? You better believe it. All churches, all organized religions that have existed since the beginning of the time. Am I attacking the religion of individuals? Never, not on your life. He wasn't trying to create a big church. He knew what happened to those things. And you're all wrong about that, man. When you say you shouldn't get angry, you shouldn't curse. You shouldn't do things that upset other people because that's what Jesus spent his whole life doing. He threw the money changers out of the temple. Don't you think that made some people angry? Don't you think it was rude to walk up to somebody's place of business, smack them in the mouth, grab their table, and throw it out the door? What about the time he cursed the fig tree? You know, pious Christians sometimes make me very angry. They don't even know Christianity. They don't know the man they follow. He was a revolutionary. He was a dangerous man. And by God, so am I. And so should you be. If you're operating from a place of ignorance, and until you change that, you're going to be bumbling around, bumping into each other, saying and doing the wrong things, not understanding the nature of your en enemy. And if you don't understand the nature of your enemy and the weapons they use, you cannot fight that enemy. You can't fight the battle. You shouldn't even be on the battlefield. That's why you're losing the war. Don't tell me you're not, because I'm in a place of great knowledge about who's winning and who's losing this war. And I can assure you, you're losing the war. Doesn't mean it can't be turned around. It'll never be turned around until you learn what you need to know. You don't even recognize half the weapons that they use against you. And some of them seem so insignificant that you don't even try. Every time any church gets control of government, the people suffer. It has always happened. That's why our founding fathers established a country where that was not supposed to happen, where everybody was free to worship at the altar of their choice. And if you think they were all of one mind, you better think again. How many religions of the Protestant group do you think existed in this country when our founding fathers put together the Constitution? Over 1,500 different groups all claiming they were right, teaching a different dogma, quoting scripture to justify what they said, and everybody else was going to hell. So don't give me this Christian nation bullshit because that's what it is. This nation reflected Christian values because the people who made up the government in the early days were Christian, but none of them agreed with each other and they still don't today. They very seldom ever have. What do you mean by Christian? Seventh-day Adventist? Branch Davidian? do some serious evaluating, some very serious checking out of agendas. Do you really want to take over the government and make it a theocracy? Because I'm going to tell you exactly what's going to happen if you do that. You're going to burn people at the stake who disagree with you. But if that happens, I'm going to have to take up arms all over again. And so will many of you because you're going to be persecuted see, because whichever one controls the government, you're going to have to conform to that teaching, and if you don't believe in it, you're a heretic. Do you understand what I'm talking about? What is our common bond truly? Freedom. Freedom. Without freedom, you can't be a Christian no matter what denomination you belong to. It means you have to let other people be free, even if they disagree with you.
You must publish only documented fact. And you must stay away from printing articles from people who will not document as fact what they put in their articles. That's why my broadcast scares the hell out of socialists. That's why, in a White House memorandum, I was named as the most dangerous radio host in America. Not because I'm going to go out and shoot somebody, but because I shoot documented facts which cannot be refuted. That's why. That's what's dangerous. Seek ye the truth, and the truth will make you free, and nothing else will do it. Jesus Christ has never lied to anybody. Why won't you listen to him? Don't spread a rumor. Spread the truth. Document it. Prove it. Make it irrefutable, and you too will become dangerous to those who admire us in lies and enslave us.